Do you want to make those beautiful earrings even if you have never beaded before? I will show you them in my next video so it's a good idea to subscribe to see them and now I will show you the collection that I'm using to make them. Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you another beautiful collection with crystals in it, with Rivoli, Chaton and so many beautiful seed beads and you will see them in a while. Now I want to give credit to my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor for these amazing projects that they make and this is especially for new beaders but you could use this set not only if you are beginner in beading but you could use it uh, if you are beginner in bezeling. Here inside there are the chatons and the rivolis that uh, they are using a special technique that maybe you are not familiar with. This is uh, the so-called bezeling. And I will show you an example in a while because in my channel I already showed another collection from Beading School by Erica Sandor and there I showed some simple bezeling. And uh, I will show you my piece as well that I did. But here it's made even more simple for absolute beginners to follow. And now I will open this up. And as you may see, there is this amazing, beautiful leaflets inside. This one is for a filigree brooch that is included here. And uh, this is a beautiful Rivoli piece that is bezeled. So this is called bezeling, if you don't know. And this is attached to this brooch. And you could, uh, of course, you could make a pair of earrings if you buy two of them. Not use it as a brooch, but as earrings. And uh, this uh, leaflet says that my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor are in collaboration with Wendy Whitman from Bidona Wire. And uh, of course, uh, you could check her channel as well. And another thing I wanted to tell you is that there will be a live Facebook teaching at the 5th of October. And all the info is as linked down there in description. This will be event where Wendy and Erica will be together and show you all the techniques that you could use with my first Peyote Bezel kit. So you could join, check it out and decide if you like it. I will try to join it myself. And uh, here are some beautiful beads and stuff that I also offer and maybe I'll show you them in the future. Okay, so here is the leaflet uh, from Erica. You see what she says in the beginning. This booklet is your first step on an exciting road built from colorful building box beads. Beading is a wonderful way to create something beautiful, suit the soul and to join a like-minded fun community. This is just amazing. The energy behind this is amazing. And this is a picture of Erica. Okay, guys. So here what we have, uh, it says the tools, uh, the basic tools that we use and that will stay with us even after we finish and make all the pieces inside and sell them or give them away or use them for, for us. And the tools will stay with us uh, in our beading journey. Uh, one of them is the beading mat that I'll show you in a while and this is the size 11 beading needles of a high quality and of course a high quality strong thread and she says you will need from your own stash only scissors. Okay and here are some free tutorials that you could follow you could scan them or you could write them in your browser here uh, to find them. And uh, this is a forget-me-not free tutorial and how to attach a bell to any peyote bezel. And here are some simple pictures. Even only using them you will be able to make beautiful projects. And of course the uh, tables here. You see what you will be able to make with this peyote bezel. Um, here for the bezeling is used peyote stitch, which is a very popular stitch. I think it's from the Mexican culture and it's called after some cactus. 
but what it uh, represents is maybe like a mosaic beading. You see how the rows move up and down, uh, like a mosaic beading. I think Russians called it mosaic beading or something like this. But anyways, this is what you will be able to do after you are familiar with this uh, bezeling stitch. And here, th this is a really useful table. If you start doing this with different sizes of Rivoli and Chaton, you see here are the Rivoli and the Chatons. If you're using 8mm, let's say, Rivoli or Chaton, your first row should consist of 22 Delica beads. And then 10mm, 28 and so on and so on. And if you use cushion cut cabochon, this is, you will start, which is 12mm, you will start with 34 beads. Okay, this is really useful. And uh, in my previous videos that I did with the uh, the other collection that I mentioned in the beginning, the Forest Collection of Erica. Uh, what I used was a Chaton, but I called all of them Rivoli. You know, I couldn't find those beads in my country, so I thought uh, the Chaton and the Rivoli are one and the same thing, and they have a small difference, and I will pay attention. What is it now in my next videos? Okay, and here she says how to start and what are the projects that you will be able to do here? In every uh, video, next video that uh, she gives, you will learn how to do this around how to attach these fire polished crystals that are also included to the bezel. And you will learn how to attach those two uh, bezeled uh, revolis together. And uh, you will learn how to make a bale okay so this is really useful and these are other tutorials that that you could see on uh, beading school web page and another thing i want to tell you is that if you want you could join the free classes no one has to be the loan you will get more information on their website and of course you could uh, join the facebook group beading club where you will see a lot of beautiful stuff and uh, on their website there are more than 150 tutorials so you could check them out as well and now guys uh, i will start with the box okay first there are size 10 beading needles i will try them they look promising uh, here this is fire line this is an extremely strong thread uh, but it is it doesn't need uh, wax because it's already sliding really nice uh, in the beads and now this is here the beading mat that you will need and i really like the advice to put it uh, on a a4 frame to attach it there and this is used uh, so your beads won't move around, guys. And it will be easier to catch them with your needle. I usually use a tray and put it inside a tray. But I like the advice of Erica and maybe I will put it in an A4 frame. Okay, so now I will give you a closer look of the collection. Okay guys, and now I'm going to show you the collection. You will find the links to it down there in description. And um, I'm opening this up. And what's in there? Amazing guys. There are a lot of beautiful stuff. Okay, you see, uh, this is a drop in metal setting. It's amazing. It's really beautiful. I'm showing it fast now and in a while I'm going to open all of those up and show you them properly. Because in my previous video you told me that you want to see it in more details and I didn't give you enough details. So this is drop in metal setting light to pass. Okay, and uh, you could put it uh, on your earrings or on your brooches or pendants 
and it's so beautiful when it hangs there, down there, okay? These are the different sizes of a Rivoli, okay? I will open this one up because this is my favorite. This is the biggest one, Rivoli, 14 millimeters. And I will show it here. You see, it's amazing. Extremely beautiful piece. And the quality is also really good. And uh, these are in different sizes. This is 10 millimeter Preciosa Rivoli Crystal Honey. These are 8 millimeter Preciosa Rivoli Vitral Light. I think they're matching really well this one and it could be a beautiful set with earrings and a pendant, let's say, or a brooch. Here is a chain where if you want to make this pendant, this filigree brooch that I showed you in the beginning, this is the base, I mean, for the brooch. Um, so you could turn it into a pendant, but uh, you could wear it as a brooch as well, as you may see. Uh, put it on this chain, which is a matching color, amazing. And you see the beads are also chosen in matching colors. These are 15-0 dark bronze. These are 11-0. I think they already sent me this color. It's really beautiful. This is 11. 11 Oma Yuki Delico. I will put a link to this one in description. And uh, this one is 15 O Mayuki seed beads, nickel plated. Okay. What I really like a lot are these fire polished beads. They are really beautiful. And uh, this is also one of my favorite colors. Here there are other beads. These are chatons and I will tell you the difference in a while when I open up all the pieces and show you them properly. Okay, oh, this one. It's so beautiful, extremely beautiful. This is 12 millimeter Rivoli crystal heliotrope as a color. And this is crystal honey Rivoli. And you could make sets from them. They are matching. The colors are matching a, a few of them. Oh, these are great. 8mm Preciosa Rivoli. Okay, so guys, what I want to do next is open all of those and show you them properly. Okay, guys, and as I promised, this time I'm showing the whole collection properly. This is 14 mm Rivoli bead. You could take a closer look and I will show you all of them like this. You see the Rivoli, how it looks, it is pointy at this side and pointy at this side. Okay, amazing crystal, really high quality and you could bezel it really easy. And this is a bezel piece from me from the forest collection that I will also link to down there in description. This is a 10 millimeter chaton and I started with 28 beads to bezel it. Okay, you see the back. This is like a little bit more difficult. You could stop up to here, of course, if you are a beginner, okay? But you could see my tutorial as well with uh, this design, uh, you will see it here at the eye icon. Okay, so this is the Rivoli, the 12 millimeter Rivoli, and this is eight millimeter Rivoli, and they're in matching colors, guys. So you could make a beautiful set, as I told you. Okay, amazing, amazing combination of colors and beads. Okay, these are 10 millimeter beads and the color is, I think it was honey something. Crystal honey. 
amazing. You could do a set and this one is really close to this color. This is honey again, I think. And uh, you could make, let's say, a pendant and two earrings and this one hanging out of the pendant. Okay, the next one. How beautiful it looks. Amazing. This is 8 millimeter Rivoli, by the way. Okay, and this is the difference between Rivoli and Chaton. I have a special video where I explain the difference because in the beginning it was not clear for me too. Okay, this is a Chaton. This is flat on the top and more pointy at the back. You see it's faceted. Both of them are faceted, but this one is more pointy. And this one is pointy from this side and the chaton is flat from this side. Okay, amazing work. Amazing pieces. This is great. Adorable Rivoli piece. This is, these are 12 millimeters by the way. And you could see at the table how to start bezeling them. Okay, so this is the 15-0 beads that I showed you in the beginning. This is the other 15-0s and the whole of the 15-0s by the way are pretty much the same as the holes of the 11-0s which are the bigger size. Yes, if you're new to beading maybe you don't know that the bigger the number the smaller the beads are. Okay, uh, it was confusing uh, for me in the beginning, difficult to remember. Okay, so uh, these are delicate beads. They are really beautiful, like small cylinders, really even beads of a high quality. And uh, I use them uh, when I make brick stitch. And maybe I will show you a project with uh, brick stitch with these beautiful rivolis uh, in it. Okay, this is a filigree brooch base. Extremely beautiful. Uh, this is a chain with a lobster clasp on it that matches the color of the brooch. These are ear wires that also match this set and I almost forgot to show you guys uh, one of my most favorite beads here in this project that are these fire polished 4 millimeter beads okay so that is almost all of this collection so tell me in the comments, do you like me to show you more collections? When I was showing the previous collection, I had a lot of watch time and less of you clicked on it and uh, watch it. Uh, maybe some of you said that uh, I didn't show it properly and now probably I'm showing it in more details and you will like it better. So you will find all the links that I mentioned down there in description with links uh, to my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials and I will be really happy if you subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you so much for watching. That was all from me. Bye bye.